All right, what's up guys? Back on the spark filling and I did want to answer kind of in a longer format uh, a question that I get asked a lot about this bike, which is, do you think this is the right bike for me? That's a very like personal thing because you know, everyone aesthetic taste and all that stuff. But like for those in a hurry, the short answer for should you get this bike, is it the right bike for me? Just in general, I think hell yeah. I mean, it's, if you're getting this bike for the specific reasons of why this bike even exists, yeah, yeah, you should get this bike, for sure. Um, the question that I get asked the most, so we'll go with like, you know, sizing of the bike and stuff. They will say, I'm six foot, I'm 200 pounds, should I get this bike? If you are over six feet and over 200 pounds, I don't think I'd recommend this bike. This bike is a little smaller, not only in engine size, but you know, it's very narrow, it's, it's short, it's tall, but it's kinda, the overall scale of the bike is not that big. So if you're over six foot and over 200 pounds, I think riding this bike, you're gonna, you're gonna feel like it's a toy, I think at that point. It might feel like it's a toy to you. I'm 5'8", barely, 170-ish or somewhere around there, and this feels totally comfortable to me. I can put my feet down at a stop, no problem. I'm not on my tippy toes at all. Even though the seat height is pretty tall, this is a totally comfortable bike for me. Perfect, perfect size. Any higher than this, I just don't feel comfortable yet. Um, so 5'8", 5'9", 5'10". Keep this bike in mind if you're under 6'1", and under 200 pounds. I think you'll, you'll be just fine on this bike. People have to keep in mind that this bike is what it is because of its specific size. It is a narrow bike, it's a smaller bike by scale. Um, you know, it's 400 cc, 390. Uh, but the size of this bike and the weight of this bike is so light, it's plenty of punch. It's all you need for what it's designed for, for, you know, kind of an urban exploring type of bike. I've heard a few folks say like that bike would be great if it was like 25% bigger or whatever, but that's that's not the point of this bike. That's not why Husky designed this thing. It's supposed to be a very nimble, very narrow, lightweight, kind of smaller frame naked bike that you're just kind of zipping around and stuff like that. So for all of those topics, it's a, it's a perfect size bike. My experience so far, and I'm a thousand miles in on the bike, it's extremely fun. This is a very, very fun bike. So if you're looking for something that is a, you know, smooth to rough surface commute, weekend bike, heavy traffic, you know, I'm using this in LA, it's perfect. It's exactly what this bike is built for. Um, LA streets are not the best and it's it does wonderful on those streets. Obviously already passed the break in. That went smooth. Um, the one thing I will say for new buyers or if you are new to bikes, especially new to this bike, because of the design of this engine and just how everything's tuned, it seriously sounds like it's an engine that's out of oil. You can hear it right now and it's just got a very knocky sound. first time I fired this bike up I honestly stopped after about a mile because I was certain oh shit it's starting to rain it's 
just started raining right now. So yeah, the first time I started this bike up, I was dead certain that <laughs> the thing got delivered without oil or something. So I went to the back, got the bike level, checked the oil level, and it was fine. Uh, plenty of oil, if anything, it was overfilled. But it's just got a very like, it's not a rattle, it's so hard to explain. So yeah, if you can get past the initial uh, sound that this thing gives off, that would be one of two of my complaints with this bike. The other complaint is totally solvable. Um, the position of which these these handlebars are placed, it, they're fine. It's you know it's the upright position as opposed to the bit pill and positioning of the handlebars. It's a little too, it's a little too low, just by like a half an inch or an inch. If this was to be raised just a scotch, you wouldn't have so much pressure resting on your wrist. After about a half an hour of riding this thing, that pressure does start to kind of become noticeable on your palms and on your, on your wrist. That would be my probably biggest complaint. All I gotta do is just get a handlebar riser in there, it's not a big deal. Aesthetically though, like, you know, how they have this tank cover, this plastic tank cover right here. Just the overall look at the bike. That's, you know, besides it having a KTM backbone that you can kind of trust, uh, along with Husqvarna, the aesthetics of this bike are just so, so unique and so crazy, I had to go for this. So if you like kind of more extreme aesthetics, uh, I would definitely go with this. Uh, besides all that, I mean, I know that's not much information. Um, you know, we covered aesthetics, we covered a little bit of comfort. You know, it's not really made for long rides. Aesthetically, this thing is one of the most extreme things in, a, in this form factor and in this CC size that you'll see on the road. I haven't seen a single bit pillin or spark pillin in LA. Of course I know they're here, but I haven't seen one yet. Um, so it's a pretty unique look, if that's what you're going for. The bike has been extremely reliable so far, of course. So if you are in the market to get a new bike and you're thinking about it and you've had your eye on this one for a while, there's another reason why I would suggest getting this model now. Uh, well, in a couple months at least. So from what I understand, they just can't keep these things on the shelf long enough. As soon as they come uh, off a cargo ship and onto the dealer floor, they're already sold. So if you get your hands on one of these between now and the end of November, I would say go for it. The reason why I'm saying that, there is spy shots of the 2022 Spark Pill in 401, and I'll be honest, it's not what I expected, and if you like these type of extreme looks that's on the current 2021 model, you might not like what they're planning on doing with the spark pill and it's it's kind of in my opinion lost touch with what makes this a spark pill and you know with the gas tank 
like this and the radiator and so on a lot of that aesthetic is still there as far as it protruding and being sharp edges but they've done it in a way for the 2022 model as far as i can see on the spy shots where they they tried to make it blend in a little bit with kind of an everyday regular bike that doesn't have such extreme you know contrast kind of looks and styles they've tried to make it almost blend in with like you know your everyday triumph and and so on and to me it it's sort of heading towards losing its uniqueness if you're into that kind of thing and you like the spy shots you can find them but in my opinion they they departed too far away from the design that they came out with in whatever it was 2018 so if you like the extreme looks of this i would jump on this bike now or try and wait till it goes on sale when the 2022 model is out and released they might have a hard time getting the 2022s actually on the floor at dealership just because of the shortages and the delays in shipping and and all of that kind of tied up i would be surprised if the 2022s hit the dealer floor even this year so if you can get this model year i would go for it this was like this might be the last design like this with this kind of unique look and contrast So yeah, overall this bike has been really good. If you can raise up the handlebars, uh, if you can keep your commute under 30, 45 minutes, because this seat is pretty hard, uh, I think you'd really enjoy this bike. We're jumping on another one. The one thing the spark pillin doesn't allow you to do is really store anything without adding some pretty heavy bag equipment or tank bag equipment. But And it is Friday, so Friday tradition really don't have to zip around all that far just to get to what you need which is perfect this ass monkey douchebag in the handicap hey how you doing good happy friday Awesome, thank you. Have a good weekend. By the way, thank everyone again who's watching. I'm almost to 200 subscribers, which is awesome. I never even thought I would get 30, whatever the number is. It means so much to me. It's awesome. I hope someone's enjoying it. I'm gonna keep trying to put out new stuff and keep rolling. Have a great weekend, everybody.